USA-10 Warthog flying tank shattering battlefields with 4,200 bullets in a minute. It's loud. It's ugly. It's old. But when this beast roars across the battlefield, enemies hit the dirt! This is the A-10 Thunderbolt II, the Warthog, still one of the most feared war machines in America's arsenal. Today, we reveal how this Cold War relic defied retirement and still dominates like no other warbird. The A-10 wasn't built for speed or stealth, it was built to destroy Soviet tanks in Europe. And to do that, it had to be more than lethal, it had to be indestructible. Wrapped in 1,200 pounds of titanium armor, the flying bathtub can survive losing an engine, a tail, or even part of a wing. Redundant hydraulic systems, plus a manual backup, keep the pilot flying when everything else fails. It's not glamorous. But when you're diving into a storm of anti-aircraft fire, survival matters more than style. The heart of the A-10 is a weapon so powerful, the jet was literally built around it. Meet the GA 8A Avenger, a 30mm, 7-barrel Gatling gun that delivers one of the most terrifying sounds in warfare. This monster spits out 4,200 rounds per minute, 70 tank-killing shells every second, each nearly a foot long, tipped with depleted uranium, built to tear through armor and light it up from the inside. And here's the jaw-dropper. It carries just 1,174 rounds into battle. That's 18 seconds of total fire. But in those 18 seconds, it can obliterate an entire armored column. Modern jets fly high, fast, and often unseen. The A-10 does the opposite, and that's what makes it so deadly. With a top speed of just 420 miles per hour, the Warthog won't win any races. But that's the point. Its straight wings, slow stall speed, and long endurance let it loiter over the fight for hours, flying low, hunting threats, and striking with deadly precision, all while keeping eyes on the ground alongside the troops it protects. The A-10's twin engines are mounted high on the fuselage to avoid damage from ground debris. Its landing gear is rugged, allowing it to take off from dirt strips and damaged runways. Its systems are so simple, it can be patched up and back in the air within hours, something stealth jets can only dream of. Even today, it's still deployed in areas like the Middle East to support missions against enemies like the Houthi rebels, proving that old doesn't mean obsolete. In a world of $100 million stealth fighters, the A-10 is a budget killer, literally. It costs as little as $6,000 to $22,000 per flight hour, depending on the source, dramatically lower than the F-16 or F-35, which can cost upwards of $40,000 to $80,000 per hour. Unit cost? Around $3.5 million in the 1970s, which adjusts to roughly $20 million today, still cheaper than most modern drones. And with a proven track record of tank kills, convoy support, and battlefield dominance, there's no better bang for the buck. The A-10 isn't pretty. It's not stealthy. But it's loud, lethal, and loyal, and no other plane protects ground troops like it. So here's the question we want to ask you. Does the A-10's continued relevance expose flaws in how we define modern air power? Is retiring the A-10 a strategic mistake or a necessary evolution? If you believe battlefield reality should shape procurement, not politics, drop your insights in the comments below. And, we invite you to subscribe to Defense Firepower. Hit that bell so you don't miss the next real-world military firepower breakdowns. Stay locked and loaded.